calls. Anyone, just please unmute and let's discuss. What do you mean by relationship word in uh, term of objects? Anyone, please come forward. How different objects are related to one another? Hmm. Yes, and why you need to relate the objects? Uh, for dependency, for creating dependencies, and uh, yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Can you please give me an example, like uh, um, can any use case where we need a relationship of two objects? Uh, like a student and teacher relationship. How student and marks employees and uh, their employers between them manager and mm -hmm. employee how they will connect with each other okay so uh, hello everyone once again just the goal of this is you know uh, like not only uh, learn but this is how question comes because you know if someone is uh, learning and uh, again our target is somehow achieve something so we can also think okay how question and how we can answer so yes both have uh, given a very correct answer that's awesome now let's start with the type of uh, lessons so of course yes we need to relate to objects then we turn say realism and uh, teacher and a student he give an example in salesforce in a standard objects we have some type of relationships between two standard object anyone can give me example uh, anyone uh, like third student expect uh, they both like you said, uh, relation. No, just uh, expect Subham. Oh. Yeah, Bharti, Gaurav, Lakhan. Anyone, come please. Yeah, there are uh, many relationships in Salesforce. Uh, mm -hmm. Like uh, master detail relationship, lookup relationship. Okay, so just an yeah. example. Like, uh, can you please give me an example of two objects, how they are related? Account and contact has lookup relationship in between those two objects. Mm -hmm. And account and opportunities also having lookup relationship. Okay. So what is lookup relationship? Yeah, that's a good question. Firstly, we're going to start with the lookup relationship. So can anyone please define uh, what is the lookup relationship? It is a loosely coupled relationship in between two objects. Like it is a one to many relationship. Hmm. Uh, relationship will be created on the child object. So one hmm. parent can have many childs, multiple childs. Okay. And uh, in this lookup relationship, uh, if we delete the parent record, then child record uh, uh, won't get deleted. Uh, that means cascade deletion is not uh, uh, available for lookup relationship. Sorry, can you please come again? Uh, if we delete a parent record in lookup relationship, child record mm -hmm. won't get deleted. It child okay. record will still be there uh, without a parent record. Yes, thank you. So yeah, so I think. Uh, let me go on the contact record and let me create a new contacts. So you can see here we have account name and simply we can search the account from here and maybe we can also create a new account. Let me create new. So now what happened? I'm going to create a contact record. So I need to choose a account record. We're not going to type here demo session, but we are going to choose something. Means we are going to choose the existing record demo session. So here on the contact we have one lookup field here we can choose the existing record and when we save this record on the contact record here is the account name and when you click here now I parent record will be open we are telling the word parent here because on this contact, we have one lookup field. Now, come on the account. Here, under the related list, you can see contacts. Means, 
the child records come under the related record related uh, list section on the objects so here this contact and account is linked with each other how it is defined let me go on the setup object manager let me open the contact go on the field and relationship and you can see field name is account name and data type is lookup of account so learning from this talk edge when we need to create a lookup field then we'll go on the child object child side object how we are defining child and parent here simply one account can have multiple contacts so account is a parent contact is a child so we are going on the child because one account and multiple contacts of course contact is our child that's why i went to set up object manager that i have open contact here we have a lookup field with the account anyone who totally new any questions how are we going to define a lookup field if you have a question just please unmute yourself and you can uh, always uh, also text me an individual somehow it happens ki name mujhe nahi puchna hota hai na to you can text me an individual we will go ahead now let me check if we have custom object in this all or not mm -hmm. no i don't think see any object so no issue now as uh, i think someone's uh, told when we delete the parent record then child record will not delete so when the object is linked with the lookup then yes both has not a tightly coupled not tightly connected we can say that okay both has a different behavior plus when you go to the sharing that your ow is setting uh, i think let me create a custom object okay object anyone can play game a huge case what object is i should create yes yeah, shubham hello a teacher relationship a manager employee that we are all familiar with that used to like listen listen school. to everyone yeah school yes okay. so college yeah that's fine teacher and student yeah so we should create a teacher so uh, what we can do here uh, let's use our contact as uh, can we use our contact and uh, somehow let's use our contact uh, in this example contact for our teacher and let me create a student okay just for example yes, so yes. let me create a student yeah that's fine yeah to get tab are the network are the network i think okay yeah it's created which i clicked twice 
the way that works. So, okay. So now, so I am using our contact as a teacher and a student as a student. So here, say we need to assign one teacher uh, with the multiple students. Like uh, when we are going to map a huge case where uh, suppose we'll uh, open one teacher, then we can see, okay, how many students are assigned to this teacher? Maybe they are going to give any training session. So here, what we need to do, we need to create a lookup field on the student because a student is child here, right? So let me create a new field, new, and lookup relationship. Now, we'll come again on master details relationship, then I will explain why I am not going to choose the, uh, here, I'm not going to choose the master for this use case. But our use case is only that uh, we will, are uh, going to link uh, multiple students to a teacher. So lookup relationship, next. When you choose lookup relationship, then it will ask, okay, which sa object is parent object? Hoga? Which object you are going to choose the parent object? Means, from which object we are going to relate this? So, related to where you can see I don't see contact. Contact, it's there under uh, uh, yeah, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Okay, so related to next. So what I choose in like my contact is parent. Now you can give a name, but by default I say just go ahead with the default name. This is a child relationship. For now, leave this by default. And next. Again, I click twice, no worry. When I go on the field again, I can see we have a contact look of field on students. So let me open the students from here. And then we create a record. then it will ask you to shoot the contact. So I think uh, I have demo session contact. So choose the same, sorry. Okay, new, give a name, teacher, Mr. Teacher, okay, <laughs> so <laughs> save it. So we have created a lookup field on the student object. And when I will go on the teacher, then under the related list, we will have those students. Now I'm coming back on the OWD, where I have uh, like went in another way. So click on the setting setting. And students added first. So you can see on the students, we have private, public, read only, and public read write. We don't have option something controlled by parent. Okay, because here, what I wanted to say here, in the lookup relationship, there is no any rule that child will inherit the sharing property from the parents. Means 
suppose here uh, contact is a private team or a student can public read only as well means there is okay uh, just another term so let leave this so now there is no any relation between the parent and child in the look of relationship for sharing setting anyone have any question understanding the look of relationship if you're not understanding please text me uh, so on this uh, controlled by parent is it uh, applicable for custom objects or is it is it applicable only for standard objects uh, or, or is it because we have created a lookup relationship that is why it is coming as it is not giving us an option of control by parent okay very nice so uh, it will look up relationship so that option will not available but i'm coming back very soon after the master detail relationship for the same okay you're fine so, so now what happened support we have some different use case means what do I, uh, we want when we delete the parent record then child record should be also deleted means here when you delete the record of our contact then you go to contact we have a record teacher. Teacher. When we delete this record, then still we have our student record. Let me go and check the student. my student now this field was cleared because our parent means our teacher was deleted 